This is Melanie Matthews from the Healthcare Intelligence Network, bringing you our healthcare performance benchmarks on population health management. Population health management, or PHM, is fast becoming the new buzzword for the management, integration, and measurement of all health programs offered by an organization. It's a rapidly growing shift in healthcare as the industry moves away from rewarding quantity over quality and volume over value and toward health management across the risk continuum. As we discovered in HIN's first population health management survey conducted in September 2012, more than half of respondents has a PHM program in place. Case managers are the most crucial elements of an effective PHM team, reported 64% of respondents, slightly edging out primary care providers, 60%, and health coaches, 55%. The use of the telephone to communicate program details was considered the primary tool by 85% of respondents. The Internet is also considered an essential modality, say 67% of respondents. Properly developed PHM programs can produce tangible results in terms of improved outcomes and cost savings. Patricia Curran, principal in Buck Consultants National Clinical Practice, suggests key preparations for organizations contemplating a shift to PHM. The most important thing is for an industry or a population that's going to move in that direction is to really learn about the population, to undertake some significant research to identify what the population's needs are. What's the culture? Does the culture present any barriers from moving to a population health management program, such as language barriers, beliefs, relationships with the employer, demographics? whatever their their barriers might be. You want to know more about what the population's health needs are, what their risks are, the patterns of care and utilization that they currently have, what are the chronic diseases and their catastrophic diseases that are their cost drivers, what are their current cost trends. You really want to figure out what's driving the population's utilization. The HIN survey also revealed improved outcomes. Metrics impacted by PHM include increases in patient compliance, reported by 69%, patient satisfaction, 63%, and medication adherence, 61%. 61% of survey respondents also revealed a drop in hospital admissions, while 58% said hospital readmissions dropped, and 55% indicated that ER visits had decreased. Almost half of PHM programs offer incentives to participants and just less than one-third incent healthcare providers for their PHM efforts. Among the greatest challenges posed by a PHM program, patient or member engagement was considered a primary barrier by 42% of respondents, and provider engagement was considered an obstacle by 21%. For more data from this survey and a host of resources on population health management, including our free Population Health Monitor e-newsletter. Please call HIN toll-free at 888-446-3530 or visit us on the web at store.hin.com. Like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com, the Healthcare Intelligence Network, or follow us on Twitter at www.twitter.com forward slash H underscore I underscore N. This is Melanie Matthews from the Healthcare Intelligence Network.